Yeah, in terms of that. Yeah. Well, right now, uh, he, he's in the mix. He's been practicing. He's been with the guys. Um, really with the three that we have right now, Wolpen, Madison, getting Rob in there and getting some few more carries. I thought Rob did a good job. He didn't get as many carries in the last game as, as we wanted after watching it. Um, and he ran hard. So want to get him more in the mix. Drake has been there. Uh, right now we have three guys that are, that are healthy uh, that we got to get in there and rotate in and let those guys get going. So um, Drake's on the ready, ready. Uh, but hasn't been activated, and we'll kind of see where we're at. You know, this next game is really kind of that point if we're going to do something with them. Now, we had J-Mac a few years back, played in the fifth game. Um, but if we got those three guys rolling and we can do some things with them, you know, we can keep Drake, you know, kind of there, just prepared and ready if needed. We uh, talked to Jabril Frazier today. Uh, you know, a guy that isn't playing quite as much maybe as he has in the past, but he's still healthy at this point in the season. Uh, you know, only three tackles, but has two sacks. What have you mm -hmm. seen from him in, in, his, in his playing time out there? Well, I think he's maximized it. You know, and, and part of that, too, some of the things we're doing on the edges, some of the groups that we see, it's a little bit different. You're in passing situations um, or against passing teams. We're in, we're in coverage, and we got a little bit different personnel group in there. And so the first two games were like that. We saw, obviously, the different um, – set of uh, or a different offense you know in the third game there so those guys were mixing in a little bit more uh, so it comes down to kind of the personnel that we see as far as him and how he's playing I think he's playing well he's come in he's done a good job um, executed his assignments you know we just have a little bit more depth there and, and the way we can utilize the guys is a little bit different but he's done a good job and he's been productive I'm um, still going to keep utilizing that we see it we see his production and you know, he gets his opportunities to go in there and do that again. Um, you don't want to see him execute and have the same results. Do you think perception matters in terms of, you know, we asked a little bit about the non-conference stuff. Does it, I mean, does it matter for, you know, you're not too concerned about what the conference does, but does it matter for, you know, for the conference to be able to get wins like, you know, you guys hypothetically against Virginia? Sure. I, I think perception, that, that's a big part of college football. When you get all these matchups, um, it really, it does matter. It matters, and, and when you get a chance to play those teams, uh, that's part of college football. That's the one, the fun thing about it is you get these different matchups. You have a Boise State and Virginia playing. You have other teams and opportunities like that. I think that's what's fun for the guys too. So, yeah, when you have a team, an ACC team coming here to Albertson Stadium first time, that type of opportunity, our guys are excited. Um, you know, I'm sure they're excited. And and this is what college football is about: having those type of matchups, um, you know, some unknowns, and then to go out there and actually play a game and see what happens. With uh, you, Archie played a bit in the last game, and I think yeah. I think John came in, did a right tackle. Um, what have you seen? From, I guess from that right side, we talked to Cavedo uh, for the first mm -hmm. time, and it seems like you guys have been pretty pleased with him too. Yeah, I think Eric's done a good job. Um, Eric's played well. Uh, Molchan playing a right tackle uh, with Archie being out. Archie will be back in. Um, he played some last week, and we had a plan for him. He was only going to play so many plays. Um, that plan's out now. You know, he's ready. He's he's ready to go play the entire game. Uh, and so how we continue to keep mixing that up, you know, with John still playing some right tackle, Archie being in there. Uh, so I think we got six guys, seven guys that can play and rotate in the O-line. And, you know, the bottom line is we know we need to be better. We, we just want to be more consistent. That becomes the, um, the main point each day uh, at that position. you got all five guys that have to work in unison. They have to work together. they got to do it consistently over and over. And regardless of the personnel, you got five, six, seven guys that are doing that through practice. They should be able to come in there, execute, and operate regardless who's in there. But, um, you know, you, you, you uh, look at the secondary wide receivers. Any, basically, anybody that said, do you, do you feel like they're close to having that kind of breakthrough game? I mean, Sean didn't like, have a ton of snaps in the first half of last game, but when he's on the field, like half the time the ball's getting thrown his way when he was on the field. Sure. At least early. Well, last game we had 19 snaps in the first half. So that was really um, – that's a difficult one to kind of get into a rhythm. You, you, we had a lot of overage in our game plan because we didn't have that many plays. And I do think there's opportunities created for other guys. You know, said obviously, uh, we want to get the ball to him. Uh, he's made plays. He's done a great job. Um, and we find ways to do that. But also – you know, there's going to be times where he's taken away and we're going to create opportunities for other guys. They're going to get their chances. Can they make plays? Yes, they can. Um, Sean had the, the catch early on in the game, and, you know, we didn't really have quite an opportunity to get back to him, um, you know, because of how the first half went. But those guys are doing a good job. A.J., Sean, uh, Cartrell, Octavius, 
Uh, those guys have been in there. Brian Jefferson, you know, so they're guys that have been in there. They're doing things. They're doing it on the backside. Maybe not the primary. Maybe we're not getting to them, but they're creating opportunities uh, for themselves down the road uh, by the way they're playing and they're playing hard. All those guys are doing things on special teams as well. Has, uh, has Brett been cleared to play? Yeah, Brett's been practicing this week. He's cleared. He's good. Um, you know, so he's been back in the mix, and you know, there's no issues there. Everybody, like I've told you before, um, all the guys that are out are out, and other guys are all ready to go. We're expecting them to play. Yeah, you're good. Go ahead. Just with Brett, I mean, I know you guys are perfectly confident with Montel back there, but what, what does? I mean, does he expand the passing game just a little bit or anything like that? Well, he's got it. You know, here, the thing about Brett, Brett's been here. Brett's got experience. Um, you know, we've put together a package of plays since spring. And, you know, Brett's been a big part of that. Montel's come in and done a great job. So both those guys, we always want our quarterbacks ready to play. Um, and so they're, they're both a little bit different in their own way. Um, but they're both capable of running everything that we want to do offensively. So, you know, to have uh, another quarterback in there and, and, you know, Chase Cord was on the ready last week, but that was going to be you know, something that um, we were prepared for if we needed to have him and did a great job of preparing that way. But, you know, you don't want to be in that situation. You want to have your two quarterbacks ready to play. And, and Brett's, you know, obviously done some good things for us. And I thought in the Washington State game, the way he was playing um, until he came out of the game, he was playing really well. And that's the progression we just haven't got a chance to see because he was out early in that game. So safe to say in some capacity, we'll see both those guys on, on Friday? Yes. With, I know you can't mention specifically